Hello, welcome to Project Based Learning in the Flip Classroom. I'm Dr. Kay Lehman. This course has been newly expanded, keeping a focus on flipping the classroom and adding an emphasis on project based learning. In this video, I will introduce to you some of the basic concepts about flipping the classroom. As you will read in the textbook, Bergman and Sams were two high school teachers from Colorado who coined the term flip classroom. These two teachers changed their own practices and created the flip classroom movement currently underway. Bergman and Sams were building on the work of a long list of, te long list of teachers and theorists about how to increase student learning. In the readings for module one, including some by Jackie Gierstein, you'll discover all the influences which underlie the flipped classroom movement. The most basic definition of a flipped classroom is to use teacher recorded lectures as homework in place of in-class lectures, and then use the classroom time for homework. This is only one possible and very limited view of how to flip the classroom. In fact, one of the myths to be discussed in module one is that this is the way to flip the classroom. The definition of the flipped classroom used in this course is student background built outside the classroom so in-class time can be used productively and imaginatively for hands-on learning of the concepts. Why the flipped classroom? Why now? The push for improving standardized test scores has led in many classrooms to an increase in teacher lectures to get through the required material and a lot more drill and kill test prep exercises to prepare students for tests. Unfortunately, this combination is not conducive to real learning. Research shows that lecture is about 10% effective in creating learning sustained beyond the final exam. Kill and drill has a place in test prep, but like lecture, it also has a very low impact in creating true learning. To be quite honest, students today are bored to death and their minds are numbed by this combination. And the result of bored, numb minds is that test scores don't rise. Motivated, engaged students interacting with the concepts creates an environment where the learning which takes place will last well beyond the test. Students learn not only the material, but they also get practice in the soft skills of working with others, which they will need in the workplace. Technology is only part of the answer to why now. Teachers have more access to technology they can use to record their own lectures, or they can turn to a wealth of internet resources, which become the lecture background builder. In addition, students have more access to technology through smartphones, tablets, and increased internet access at home. Instead of discouraging student use of the devices they live with day and night, the connected generation now can use these tools as part of a 24-7 cycle of learning. Please continue now to the required readings and resources for Module 1. The collection of articles and videos will continue to build the background needed for our activities. And in case it wasn't yet clear, this video serves as a background builder for the more interactive learning in the course. This online course will serve as an example and model of a flipped classroom. Keep this in mind as the course continues and keep analyzing how this course is structured as a model for flipped classroom and project-based learning. Thank you.